is when I stood here on the 1st of November and I said to you, we are going to raise 7,000 pounds for the Hope Challenge. How many of you really thought that we could do it? Okay, a lot of you, full of faith, I like it. You know, I am absolutely thrilled to tell you that we didn't just raise 7,000 pounds. We raised an extra 33%. We raised 9,300 pounds, and the money is still coming in. Awesome. And I, on behalf of the Village of Hope, I just want to say a massive thank you to each and every one of you who took part. I know that many of you had great fun doing it. We had the teens raising money through a car boot sale. We had an auction for one of Siku's art pieces. We had, I did a money seminar here and in South Africa. We had fancy dress parties. We had dinner parties. We had guys growing their moustaches. They looked awful, but they raised lots of money. We had cycle races. Everybody just came up with amazing ideas. And you know what? It wasn't just us that were involved. It was the people in your world. And, you know, I had the wonderful privilege of visiting the Village of Hope in December. And I can confidently say to you that the money is and will be put to very good use. Just a couple of stories. There's a little girl called Nicoline. And if I point to her, there she is over there. And there she is over there. You know, when she arrived at the Village of Hope, she was found, her and her brother were found in conditions that she wouldn't even leave a dog in. Okay? She had a feeding tube, and she had severe developmental issues. The doctors thought she will never eat normally again. She couldn't swallow. Look at her today. She looks totally normal. The feeding tube was removed, and she is a normal little girl. And just another lovely, heartwarming story. The youngest child at the Village of Hope is now a few weeks, well, he's he's probably a couple of months old now. But he arrived there just a few days old. He was born prematurely to a mother who had full-blown AIDS. She'd actually gone blind just before his birth, and the hospital discharged her the same day she gave birth. She couldn't look after herself, let alone her premature baby. I had the privilege of seeing that beautiful little baby boy, Zanakolo, and he is thriving. So know that you are being, you have done an amazing thing. You are part of something bigger than yourself. But not only that, those children stand a very good chance of coming to know Jesus Christ. We have sown not only into their lives, but we have put in something that has eternal value. We may meet those children face to face in heaven one day because of the work of the Village of Hope. 